Hi everybody, I'm John from Microsoft and we are here at E3 2018 to check out some of the latest PC gaming hardware. And I'm joined by Kevin from Razer. Hi. Hey, good to see you again, Kevin. We're actually here standing outside of the Mixer booth. Uh, we'll talk about Mixer more in a second, but we're here to talk about some of the latest uh, Razer hardware, obviously. Yeah, and definitely. You've got a device I'm pretty excited. Uh, it's actually the first time I've seen it in person. So uh, tell us about the Razer Blade 15. Yeah, so this is the latest Razer Blade. We just announced this the end of May. Um, it is the, the evolution of our flagship 14-inch model. We've made it bigger now with a 15.6-inch display. Uh, much thinner bezels on that display to really maximize the immersion you get when you're looking at it. Uh, much faster display as well, up to 144 hertz for the gamers out there. Yeah, um, and awesome. a ton of performance crammed into the world's smallest 15.6-inch gaming notebook. And now one of the things I see here is that Obviously, it's, it's a lot more screen real estate, but the regular footprint of the, of the device isn't really much bigger than the old 14, right? Yeah, so we made it just 0.4 inches wider, and we made it actually thinner than the 14 inch, so we kind of spread it out, uh -huh. changed the curvature a little bit here so we can maximize the internal space while minimizing the external dimensions. Um, we really wanted to have a compact chassis, but to give our engineers the most space inside to work with so they could put as much performance in this thing as possible. So most of that is because you have these ultra thin bezels, right? That's just beautiful. So it's great screen to uh, body ratio. Or, yeah, 84% uh, screen to body ratio. I don't know if you can body see ratio. this on camera, but it is so thin, this device. Yeah, just uh, 0.66 inches thin for the GTX 1060 version, slightly larger 0.68 inches for the 1070 version. Right, so we now we couldn't get a 1070 in the uh, the previous blade, right? So you can get a little more power even now? Yeah, definitely squeeze a lot more power in here. The real trick to that was not just you know making the internal space a little bit bigger for the engineers. We changed the whole uh, way we approach thermals. So we're using a vapor chamber instead of traditional heat pipes. So we can support 30% higher TDP now, allowed us to get up to that six core processor, the eighth gen from Intel, as well as a GTX 1070 Max-Q from NVIDIA. Awesome, so you got six core processor, Max-Q, and then uh, you can fit a little more RAM in this uh, model too, right? Yeah, so all of them ship with 16 gigs dual channel memory. It's DDR4, 2667 megahertz. But instead of like the 14 inch where it was soldered on, it's slotted now. So if users wanted to take it up to 32 gigs of RAM, it's totally possible. Yeah, very nice. So um, one of the other things that I've always liked about your devices is uh, just that nice, sleek design. There's a lot of people I've seen at work using them for business as well. Talk about that. So there's, you've taken some other uh, kind of configuration options there, right? For yeah, so we've got a, uh, different screen configurations. We actually have a 4K touch panel um, yeah. geared more towards our creative audience, people that want higher resolution or are looking for 100% Adobe color space support, for example. Um, and then, you know, the, the design of the chassis is pretty subdued overall. So, you know, the black anodized finished on the CNC aluminum gives it a really soft texture, um, but also makes it durable and scratch resistant. Um, and then it also um, is like very little flex. It's a really solid, uh, well-built chassis. So really great for mobility. Awesome. Yeah, I've got to say on Windows 10, I really do love having a touch screen. I'm so used to that now. It'd be, but I kind of like that 140 hertz, 4 hertz panel, so. Yeah, so uh, when you're not using the touch screen, we actually change the touchpad on this as well. Uh -huh. So instead of having, um, you know, the old traditional one with the click buttons, we have a 50% larger touchpad oh, now right, than the 14 right. inch. Microsoft Precision touchpad supported as well. So you get great gesture support um, and really precise control. You know, I mean, on the, from the Microsoft perspective, we continue to try and push updates to Windows 10 and improve that experience for gamers. So if you're familiar with the game mode uh, that prioritizes um, some of your apps to make sure you're getting maximum performance, we now made some more updates in the April 2018 update for uh, the game bar. So uh, it's pretty awesome you can do like one touch streaming with Mixer, of course, uh, right through there. So um, yeah, that's exciting that you have both of those options. Now, one other, well, speaking of that update, the 1803 update, what that also brought for us is the ability to have external graphics supported by the OS natively now. Um, so that's a big thing for our Razer Core line of products, and we just announced a new one of those as well. Yeah, so let's talk about that for a second. Yeah, so I'll kind of close that for a moment. So this is the Core X. It's the latest in the family from our external graphics line. Uh, basically, what we've done with this was we made it a larger device to accommodate wider cards. So you can have up to three wide PCIe graphics cards inserted in here. Um, we actually made it a lot lower price. So $299 for this device now as opposed to $499 for the uh, more uh, full-featured version, I would say. 
And it's a toolless entry, so yeah, toolless grab design. The, grab you don't need handle. any screwdriver. Wow, that's very slick. Slide it open. It's a thumb uh -huh. screw to secure the card inside. 650 watt ATX power supply, 500 watts of power delivery to the card, 100 watt delivery through USB C to charge notebooks that can allow for that. Um, and just a great way to have Thunderbolt 3 external graphics, sure. adding more power to your device. Whether you're gaming with that or you're doing multi GPU rendering for creative apps, really cool solution to get more power out of a notebook. Yeah, it's great to have that starting option at $299. And of course, you could still use the original Razer Core if you wanted to with it as well, right? So. Yeah, we've got the Core V2. What that adds is a smaller footprint, uh, chroma lighting for those that are a big part of our chroma lighting ecosystem, uh, as well as four USB 3.0 ports and Ethernet. So you get more desktop connectivity and a little smaller form factor with some cool lighting uh, for $499 instead of $299. Great. Well, I Anything else you want to leave our viewers with, Kevin? I think that's a that's a great tour through the new Blade 15. Yeah. Um, I guess the question that is probably on a lot of people's minds is where can we find these products now? Yeah, so the great news is it's available now. It is in market. You can find it at Razor.com on our uh, store okay. there. Uh, if you're in the San Francisco area, it's also at our store in the Westfield Mall there. Um, starting to trickle into the Microsoft stores as well as Best Buy. Uh, you can find it on Amazon.com. Um, so pretty much uh, most of the electronics retailers uh, here in the States and then overseas as well. We're starting to distribute into Europe, uh, Asia Pacific and China. Excellent. All right. Well, you've heard it here first. I'm John from Microsoft, Kevin from Razer. We're here at E3 2018. Thanks for watching.